All right, guys. We got something uh, a little different here today. Uh, I got an Autel Maxicom MK808, and uh, it's right here. Yeah, the good folks at Autel contacted me and asked if I, I wanted to check it out and maybe give it a review. You know, and uh, I figured, yeah, what the heck? Because I've, I've used their products before and I'm familiar with them and and I like them. And uh, this one here is is a lot more modern than what I've been using so I've uh, incorporated my buddy here Bill hey, little cheers. dirt bike and uh, <clears throat> he uh, he deals with the newer cars uh, just about every day so I think uh, he'd be uh, better versed in uh, telling you about it and you know go ahead buddy because I think I think you'd do better than I would alright well basically it's a it's a glorified scan tool I don't say that in, in a negative way but uh, you know, it, it it'll do all your basic features that any scan tool will do. But then it'll it'll do a whole lot more stuff too. You can see the the interface here. You just I powered it up. It, you have to boot it up from the start if you had it cold. But I got it just in standby mode, so all I had to do was hit the on button here. But it turns on and actually it really looks like a uh, like an iPad or a, an Android tablet when you first start it up. And uh, yeah, you know, this isn't just a fresh unboxing here. I actually gave this to a little dirt bike two weeks ago, you know, so he can familiarize himself with it. And yeah, I tried to study it up a little bit. Yeah. You can see it's got a very thick manual, so we're probably not going to get to every single feature it's got, but uh, we're going to try and give you guys a decent overview. So I think uh, maybe what we'll do here, one thing I'll just show you guys, like I was saying, it's basically like a mini tablet. You've got all different stuff. you got a calculator on here. There's a clock. You can get your email on this thing if you wanted to. It's, it's so, a mini computer. It is, yeah. yeah. So it's really a tablet, but then the, the main thing that you do with it is this MaxiCom. Oops. You got this MaxiCom program here, and that's where all... You see it? Yeah, you know, I was uh, getting the glare from yeah, the camera, yeah. or from the lights. Is that okay. better? Yeah, much better. And this MaxiCom is really where you do all your uh, your diagnostics and your, your code reading and, and fixings. So how about uh, how about we take this thing out and hook it up to a car? And uh, I should be able to show you a little bit more about what it actually does. Okay. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of weather out there, so we're actually going to get in the car ourselves after we plug it in and uh, show it to you. It's going to be a, a 2014 Toyota Corolla. All right, let's go, buddy. All right. All right. <clears throat> you can see it's snowing out here. Oh, is this door open, buddy? What's that? Is this door open over here? Yeah. All right. I should I should have sent him out here earlier to warm it up, but uh, let's hop inside. All right. What he's doing now, he's under there, he's plugging it into, what's that called, an OB2? OBD2. OBD2 connector. Yep. And that's where it is on most cars, it's, it's right under your foot pedal. Yeah, so I just plugged that in there. Some, sometimes they're on the passenger side. But we plug that in and then the other end of it goes and plugs right into this connector on top of the machine here. And then, what we're going to do here, get a little ahead of myself, but... We'll start out with this diagnostics tab here. That means it's connected to the vehicle. You see that little little vehicle car thing coming up there? Mm -hmm. That's how you know you're hooked up. But we'll go into diagnostics here, and there, there's two ways we can do this. I'm going to do the the model way first. So this is this is a Toyota, so we're going to look for Toy Toyota in here, which is right there. And let's try the automatic. What they do here is you enter your VIN number, or you should be able to read it from the vehicle automatically, so you don't have to go through the trouble of that. And the reason it does that is then it can figure out what engine you got and all the different features that it's going to be looking for. All right, the scanner picked up all the, the VIN numbers and the codes it needed. I'm going to have to keep doing this, buddy, because yeah. you, you can't see where, the, where, the, where the, the glare is, yeah. but I can. Yep. All right, uh, like I said, he just put it in, and it, it got the VIN number from the... The car here and uh, you got to make sure the key is on if you don't it'll come up with a fault yep yeah it won't be able to read anything if the key is not on ignition right. on right um, engine doesn't necessarily need to be on though depending what you want to do okay. but once you read the VIN here okay. uh, it comes up with which with which country so we're USA Corolla and then what year 2014 which engine uh, with with or without smart keys and this depends on your vehicle it'll di give you different options but once that comes up you get to this screen here and there's two options, so we're going to go into diagnosis here. This is pretty neat. We'll just do the auto scan here. And what it'll do 
is this thing will go through and scan and it's going to check every single system that the vehicle has that's available to be scanned and it's going to tell if you if there's any problems with it so you can see them coming up here they're going kind of quick but there's tire pressure monitor air conditioner main body looks like we got a fault there we'll have to see what that's all about driver door motor occupant detection as you guys know these these modern vehicles have tons and tons of different systems that monitor basically every single part of the vehicle so uh, let's see if we can take a look at what's going on with uh, one of these faults here main body with this little arrow here all that actually all that did is that tells us uh, what that particular system is and another thing you guys will notice with these is they're a little bit I wouldn't call them on the slow side but there's a lot of stuff going on in here so as you're working with these usually you gotta pause for a little bit and wait for uh, one or one of the screens to come up um, that basically gives you the idea with this though again you, go, you can go through all your systems and you can see that you know if you got a problem with something um, it'll tell you All right, I just wanted to show you guys because I started getting uh, ahead of myself again let's just say for the sake of argument you wanted to see one of those codes what you do is you tap on it like I just did and then you'll have this screen come up and if you hit trouble codes uh, it'll show you the uh, whatever trouble codes for that particular subsystem whatever they are so you see here we got P1604 it says startability malfunction so whatever that is you you'd probably have to look it up and figure what that actually means but that uh, particular code this vehicle was throwing at some point in time now another thing you can do with this thing we're just gonna hit the escape button there's you can see when you're in this uh, screen here you always have these buttons underneath you can hit the escape button and go back through each menu we're gonna go back we're gonna go all the way out of this and instead of going this way through the particular when it whenever you do one of these it's for the particular subsystems of that particular vehicle but the other way you can do it as you go in through this one here, it says EOBD. If you go into there, you hit auto scan, and it might take a little minute, it might take some time for it to, there you go, that wasn't too bad. But then it'll come up with the screen here. And what this does is this is where you can read your codes. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. You read your codes here, DTC. So you can open that up, see if there's any, just your standard check engine light codes, none of the special ones that we were looking at before. And it says no fault codes detected. So that's good. Oh. Yeah. Um, this is pretty cool, your live data here. This won't really show us a whole lot since the engine isn't currently running. But this will take all the sensors on the vehicle and anything that can output a useful number, it'll show you. For, so, for example, we've got our coolant temperature. We've got, and look, we're looking at zero degrees Celsius. You can change your units, but right now we're in Celsius, so at right around 32 degrees, that's about right. Zero engine RPM, of course, zero vehicle speed. Um, throttle position, see that? If I take the, the throttle and I peg it, then uh, your throttle position goes up. So all this, this is all live data for all the different uh, sensors on the engine. O2 sensor voltage. Uh, there's a ton of different things you can read through here. Look, look at the, Look at this list. Wow. There's so many different things that you can you can read. Um, then, if we come back here, this is another interesting one. Uh, if we come into uh, vehicle information here, you got to make sure your key is on, which it is. So we'll hit OK. This will show you a lot of different information about the vehicle, mostly just what I would call statistics. So for example, I thought this one was interesting. Ignition cycle counter, 3,379. So that means in the lifetime of this, Connect the scan tool to the OBD port that's typically found underneath the dash on the driver's side. With the data cable connected, you can press the power button on the unit to power it on. Once the unit boots up, it will automatically open this app called the MaxiCom. Now if you accidentally hit the home button, you see this home screen, and all you have to do is open the MaxiCom app right here. On the MaxiCom main page, you have Diagnostics, Service, 
Shop Manager, Data Manager, Settings, Update. Now this device is connected to the Wi-Fi and you have internet connection. You see that it'll prompt you for any updates available. And you see this one, it means there's one update available. We can download this. After the update is installed, you can press this MaxiCom Home button right here. With a diagnostics application, you can access the ECU of the engine, transmission, ABS, SRS, and many more items. This is where you'll go to check for fault codes or erase fault codes and read live data. Before you go into the diagnostics application, we'll start the car up. Next, select this blue icon that says VIN. We'll do an auto detect. It found the VIN number of the vehicle. Select OK. Confirm the information is correct. Press yes. Now we can go into diagnosis. Here you have two options, auto scan or control unit. The auto scan will automatically perform a comprehensive scanning of the ECUs in the vehicle and retrieve any trouble codes the car might have. If you select control unit, this is a manual selection and you have to specify which control system you want to test. So let's do auto scan. So here on the list, it'll tell you each item, whether it passed or has a fault. So let's scroll up to the first item, engine, and there is a right arrow that you see right here, select that. Here we have several options for the engines, ECU, you can read code or erase codes or look at live data. Read codes, no fault codes detected. Now if you have a fault code, you can choose the erase codes to erase that code. Let's look at live data, main signals. Here we're looking at the live data from the engine's ECU. So for example, engine speed is your RPM. If I rev the engine, you'll see the number go up. Next to the name, there's a drop-down menu right here. You can graph this. You can also select different views. You can also select multiple items. And do a show, and that will show the selected items. You can select graph merge to graph all three items together. Go back. You can also record the data. Next we'll go into transmission. Select OK. Select live data. Now there's one data that I'm very interested in seeing, and that is the transmission